There was a book written a few years ago entitled Reading, Reading Your Own Obituary. It's written by Robert Raines. But in that story, Reading Your Own Obituary, in that book, there was a story about Alfred Nobel, created dynamite, amassed a great fortune uh, in the manufacturing weapons of, of mass destruction. In 1888, Alfred Nobel awoke to the morning paper to read his own obituary. And it was startling, as it, as it would be, to open up the obituary section and, and you see your obituary. Well, the, the obituary writer had made, had made a mistake. Alfred Nobel was not dead. It was the brother of Alfred Nobel. But Alfred Nobel read his own obituary and realized in that moment it set him back in an extraordinary way because he realized that the only way he was going to be remembered by this world was, was being someone who had given his life to the destruction of others, to militaristic destruction. And so he decreed in his last will and testament the creation of the Nobel Peace Prize that's given every year to the person that most contributes to world peace. You're going to leave a legacy. We're all going to die. And when you die, you're gonna be buried in a plot that looks the same as Bill Gates as the one that holds John J. Paul Getty. Every person of incredible wealth, it's all going to be in a, in a six-foot grave. But legacies can be different. It's living with intentionality, deliberateness, willfulness towards the things of God. It's knowing who you are, what you want to be, where you want to go, and make the choices that God has given you, the mind to make the choices and the decisions that are necessary to get there.